Hi Stampers and Crafters, thanks for tuning in today. Today I want to start my series on Christmas in July. I'm a little late getting started because of uh, 4th of July and I wanted to rearrange my craft room again. But I would like to do at least uh, three or four projects during July using the current products in the Stampin' Up! catalog to make a couple of Christmas uh, projects. So today we're going to start out making this box. Pretty simple box and it certainly can be used for anything besides Christmas but I've kind of dolled it up for Christmas using Christmas and Christmas colors, cherry cobbler and the uh, vellum, the fancy vellum that uh, the gold looks really pretty. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make that gift box. So the first thing we want to do is take a piece of cherry cobbler that's cut it by eight and a half by eight and a half, and using our stamping envelope or er, envelope punch board, stamping up envelope punch board, I want to score at two and a half punch and move it over, score at four and a half and punch. Turn my paper all the way around, 180 degrees. Do the same thing, two and a half. And again at four and a half. Now if you haven't used this punch board before, uh, kind of missing out because it's it's a pretty versatile product. So okay, so now I line up my score line here with this little tail that sticks out. And I'm going to score and punch and move it over to the next score line and score and punch. Turn my paper all the way around again. Do the same thing. Line up on that score line. Measurements over here don't mean anything now once you've done your initial score lines and then move it. Score and punch. Okay, once I've done that, now I'm going to cut out my little tabs here folding. Let's see, cut along this one. And I always cut just a little V. Just makes it easier. Okay, come over here and cut these. And cut this one. Okay, now when you make your box, you have all these little flaps in the way that are going to be a problem. So we want to trim those off. Let me get the trimmer in here. And I'm just going to trim off about an inch off of there. Kind of line it up. Might be a little bit more than an inch, but once I get it established, then I'll run this one over here on the stop and trim. I kind of like that that folds extra in the box and you'll see when I construct it. I just kind of like that because it makes the box a little the box lid a little sturdier. Now we're also going to make the bottom, but I'm not you're not going to see me do all this. I'm just going to construct the top. The difference in the bottom is just the size of the paper that you start with. That is the only difference. Okay, so now I'm going to fold on all my score lines. Okay, and I'll have this all on the screen so you can see it. This started out with the eight and a half by eight and a half. For the bottom, we do eight and three eighths by eight and three eighths, but still score on the same score lines. Okay, so there's my the top of my gift box. Okay, and then if you haven't been using this fast fuse, you've really been missing out because it's a nice product. I know some people have some problems with it. I even did a video on it, but just pull and and go and and jerk off to the left like you're doing a check mark. I guess in this case it's jerk off to the right, but pull and then just jerk. Just kind of like you're checking off a piece of paper. And I get a nice clean line each time. So don't get frustrated with this product because it really is, and see I didn't jerk quick enough, it really is a nice product that's out there. Okay, so we're going to put all our corners together. Nice. Nice, it goes together really nice. All because of that score board. Okay, so now you see I have my flaps here. Well, I want to I want to make sure they stay down, so I'm just going to run a little bit of the fuse. Notice how I'm pulling off. 
go ahead and tack that one down. It just makes my top of my box a lot sturdier, okay? A little bit of the fuse and tack that down. Remember just to pull off like you're doing a check mark is what I heard someone say about doing it, and that's about right. You just do that. Just spin off and then fold these down and we have created a nice little box top. Almost looks like a check box top. Box of checks top. Okay, so there's the top of our box right there. Okay, so I have the bottom of my box. I've already constructed it and have it put together. So I want to show you a little bit how to make the box, how to score it. I'm not going to put it together for you, but I do want to show you. I've got a little template here. I think this will help. Okay, so you're starting out for the bottom of the box. It's 8 and 3 eighths by 8 and 3 eighths. And then your first score line is going to be at 2 and a half. And you're going to score down here at two and a half. I'm just going to do it with a pen. Okay, and then you move over and you score again at two, I'm sorry, at four and a half. Turn it 180 degrees. Score again two and a half. And then move it over and score at four and a half. Okay, and that's going to give you part of your box. Now, you've got to turn it just 90 degrees and you're going to line up at three and three fourths. Line up over here. Normally you don't do that. You line up the score line and it might be pretty close, but I'm, I just want you to line up here at three and three fourths and that way there won't be any issue to get this to fit inside the top because you've got a pretty tight fit there. So score at three and three quarter and then move over to the other score line. It should be really close and then score You've got this score line here that you're lining up with, and then score. And that'll give you the end of your box. Turn it 180 degrees. Line up over here at 3 and 3 quarter. It's off just a hair right here. That's why I'm having you line up at 3 and 3 quarter right here. And then score, and then move it over to the, ne the next score line here, and then score. And then cut out all your little tabs here and... Um, fold it. I'll have this on the screen so you can see how we did the bottom of the box. Okay, now that I have my box all together, I want to put a little band on it. And I took the fancy foil designer vellum. It's really pretty foil. It's Christmassy. It's Valentine-y. There's some hearts. There's some stripes. But uh, it's a really pretty vellum. So I took a strip of that and I'm going to put that around my box like a belly band and just uh, line it up. That'll close my box. And I'm just going to use glue dots for that and get that set. So, get that here in the middle. I think I got one attached to me. And then this band's only about uh, three quarters of an inch wide. And then wrap it all the way around my box and put that glue dot down that hitchhiked. And close it up. So I've got that, and then I'll just trim it off. It won't show because we're going to make the vellum bow. Okay. There we go. So now we've got that around the box. So we're going to make the bow using the um, gift bow die. So you see that? I think you can see that pretty good. And I've got my piece of vellum cut out here. Before I give you a tip, like I know that I need a piece eight and a quarter by five and a half, eight and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to take that over and I'm going to run it through the Big Shot. I'll be right back. So here's my bow. I ran it through the Big Shot. Now all I have to do is construct it. This is an extra piece that I'm not going to use. So, And I'm just going to put it together with uh, glue dots. So my first part of my bow here. I'm just going to bring it into the middle here. Put a glue dot. Press down. Okay, get another glue dot. Bring it over to the middle. Press down. Then I want to attach each end of my bow. It's coming together really pretty. Okay, and the other one. 
And there is my bow, except for the center. But I kind of wanted a dot in the center when I put my bow together. So I'm going to go trim this off. And then I'll put that in the center. I'll make that for the center of my bow. I just kind of like that a little better. Okay, so I've got that for the center, and then I'll just use a glue dot to get my folds in it. Trim off a little excess, and then get my glue dot and attach it. Just modified that a little bit real quick. I didn't really cut straight, but okay. So there we have it. And then again, I'm going to use a glue dot and attach it to the top of my box. And there we have a little Christmas box. Okay, for my message on there, I used um, Chalk Talk stamp set. And I've already stamped it on Whisper Right cardstock, and I'm just going to cut it out with a one and three eighths punch, circle punch. I I uh, stamped it in cherry cobbler, same color as my paper, and then I used some of the vellum, and I want to use the scallop edge punch, and I wanted to make sure that some of the gold showed, so I lined it up. You can see I've at least got some around there because I'm no point in doing it if I can't get some of that pretty gold. So again, I'm going to go to my glue dot and put that message right in the middle. Attach it, and then I'll just attach it to my package with uh, one glue dot. This will stay in place. Okay, there's my Christmas in July package that I've uh, started, and uh, hopefully you'll be seeing me in the next few weeks. And I'll show you a couple more things for Christmas in July. Thanks for tuning in. I hope I helped you.